Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. We're here, as you can see, for Star Trek. So we have the new Star Trek tank, which I'm going to show you here. That's come about with some other Star Trek stuff. Now, this is for Star Trek, the movies from, you know, 10 years ago, ballpark. Okay. Whenever that happened. Now, that's not classic Star Trek. It's also not any other version but original series uh, style, either original TV series or the new new version of original series in the movies. <clears throat> so that's fantastic, especially if you're interested in that. So let's go check it out. As you can see, this tank is available. You can buy this now for like 8,900 gold. But there's an operation going on, and when this operation is completed, it will be half price. So I'd say wait for half price. I already saw guys playing it, which worked out, you know, great for them. But, hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, man. We also have the return of the Mars game mode. So for one week, you can play that. And it's pretty fun, actually. It should last longer, but it doesn't. I don't know why. Who knows? Someone should punch him in the head. Maybe they'll understand. I don't know. So this is the screen that you saw, Star Trek Arrives, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, with all the stuff. I mean, it looks pretty cool. The, sh the tank, you can't see it really very well here, but the tank is designed. It's a flatter version of the Enterprise with the, the circular primary hull, except it has a turret on top of it with the two warp nacelles at the rear of the tank. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. If this is your favorite Star Trek version, which it is for a lot of people, it's going to be fantastic. It's okay to me. I'm an original series. You know, William Shatner is my captain. So that's the way it is for me. All right. Here we are in the store with all the Star Trek stuff. This is really the main thing. Star Trek Mega. It's all the Star Trek stuff. The tank, etc. Commanders camouflages if you want to call it that it's not for me at all but if that floats your boat hey more power to you now I mean the crew commanders is kind of okay but it's only two dimension the two dimensional ones and they're no three star commanders which I thought is stupid that's just me you know personally speaking I mean they all look great if that's what's you know floating your boat as a William Shatner guy era, the only one that looks right close is the captain. That guy did a great job. Nice looking guy, of course. The Spock is just wrong. I'm sorry. The Uhura is also wrong. I only like original Uhura. Sorry. He's okay, but come on. He's not the real Scotty. Now, this dude does a great job as Dr. McCoy, I got to give him credit on that one. So there's nothing wrong with the Carl Urban. He's dead, Jim. All right. Inferior. Sorry. Nothing personal. I'm stuck on 60s Star Trek. My only exceptions, I give him credit for, for kicking butt. And he has the flavor the feel like he's Captain Kirk but I don't watch those movies because it's not my Star Trek but if it is yours I understand that you'll enjoy it it's fantastic let's check out the tank shall we so here we can look at the tank not so much the armor but the actual design and you can see it's a flattened version of the Enterprise and you have the turret you know I mean It's not 100% for me, but if you're going to make a tank out of Star Trek, you can't do any better than that, really. You know, this is an Era 1 tank, so it's not going to have any rocket business from Era 2 or Era 3. So, you know, it's good in that regard. 
I can certainly see that this would be a useful tank in Era 1 if that's what floats your boat. I mean, it does look nice. So they got that going for it. Let's go check out the other section. You know, another, you know, you can buy Kirk and Spock only if you want, which I can understand that. You can buy the individual characters if any of those, you know, do it for you. I might buy the Captain Kirk one just to have that. Um, although I do like, I do like the Dr. McCoy and I do use the phrase, he's dead Jim all the time. So you might have something there. I, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure. All this other stuff to me is it's it's just graffiti it, it's not real Star Trek to me sorry it just isn't that's just the way I am okay oops let's go back here Cold War you got a garbage tank this tank I can't stand this thing it's horrible the bullets come out in a rainbow trajectory it's terrible just absolutely ridiculous it, it's everything this, this is really sums up everything wrong with this game their bullet physics is trash, and this is the trashiest tank that they have in the game for bullet physics. It's the absolute worst. So, this encapsulates all the stupidity into one package. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Your physics is trash, and that's the way it is. Now, this one is the Bernardino Brazilian tank. It looks kind of cool, actually. Check this out. Now this dude, that is a midget tank. The tank is body is barely bigger than the turret. This is probably going to be an effective butt kicker, you know, like the Vanguard. The Vanguard is also a very small uh, light tank, tier eight, but this one's tier seven. So this could be quite useful i can see that happening if you're interested in you know doing tier seven light tank i'm not against that specifically kaiju is very interesting as well this is a halloween tank next month starting october 1st is a new season the halloween season so for those of you who are wondering this is a Halloween tank. I have this tank already. I picked it up for dirt cheap. But if you haven't picked it up, this is a Halloween tank. So it's one of those things that great to have in your arsenal. And Halloween is good. It's, it looks like garbage for the rest of the rest of the year. But for Halloween, it's pretty good. Garage saw it as well. So what is that? Is that a 30% uh, discount? Which is, you, if you don't have it, it's a great deal because you're not going to beat that price. What is this one? This one is dun 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 dun, 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 dun FB4202. Yeah, who cares? Whatever. If that floats your boat fine. It doesn't do anything for me. And there's nothing special. The Halloween Japanese kaiju is another story. I was talking with Brownie and we made a list of all of the Halloween tanks and neither one of us could make the list on our own. There was things I thought of he, he didn't think of and things he thought of I didn't think of. And I was right to talk to him to make the list of the Halloween tanks. And this whole year I've been picking up Halloween tanks if they've shown up for a reasonable slash cheap price. Um, you know, some of the ones that are really good upcoming. Lycan was very good. We're on the uh, Roswell tank contract. I'm on stage eight. Brownie has already completed that contract. So he's got the tank. Um, Death Chariot, to me, as a missile shooting guy, I had that last Halloween. It was fantastic. And I'm going to be a one year of missile shooting better. So it's going to be even more awesome than that. That is an expensive tank to buy. If they have that on the urn operation for Halloween, I'd suggest you consider that if you're interested in rocket launching tanks. Is it it shoots it shoots skulls instead of rockets. So it's fantastic watching the 
fl flaming skulls go shoot out. It, it's awesome. Um, other stuff that's great, I got the Pharaoh's Fury. Um, Holden Hund is great. There's a lot of stuff that's just fun to play in Halloween. So when you see Halloween tanks, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, everybody has their own favorites, but I have like five or six of those tanks. I know Brownie told me he's going to pick up the uh, Inferno Chimera. And another one that, you know, you know that, that, that had been pushed down on our list was the Bellerophon. That's the one with the giant Greek mask. So keep your eyes open. There's like 16 different Halloween tanks, if I remember correctly. It's something like that. It's like 16 or 17, whatever it is. So killer stuff for Halloween, which is upcoming. So, you know, get your stuff in order. If you luck out and get gold from a refund for a, a premium tank you own through a long haul war chest, I would stockpile my gold and wait for Halloween to do whatever it is that's going to be done. Now, the, we have a free starter pack for Star Trek. You get some of these graffitis that I call them. I'm like, really, dude? I mean, that's William Shatner. This is William Shatner saying, Come Okay? Because... Um... It speaks for itself, you know. You know, the original Khan was played by Ricardo Montalban. Fantastic. You know, that's what, when I see this, this is not the new Star Trek, guys. This is the original. It's William versus Ricardo. And that's how it always is, as far as I'm concerned. All right. And some other, you know, times three bonus, times two silver bonus, which is great. Times four commander bonus. I use that on my 38H. Three days of free premium. Hey, I'm all for it. More power to you on your Star Trek. I'm glad that people are enjoying it. But that that phaser looks wrong to me. I'm sorry. I'm classic. Oh, well, that's just the way I roll. You know, the rest of this stuff. Now, I don't have this tank personally myself. I have the FV-4211. But the Era 2, let me show you. Not, not the Star Trek, sorry. Wrong one, dummy. This one. This is the, you know, uh, what do you call it? Leopard 2A, 2A5. Very good tank. Killer armor. If you don't have the FB4211 for Era 2, this would be the one to get. And for $10, that's a dirt cheap price. Okay? So sometimes, as my friend Armor Grape would say, the tank of the month is the tank to get. For ten dollars, you can't beat it. That is that is really a good heavy tank if you're in the market for that. But you can get that the whole month. So keep that in mind because you get not only that you get the garage slot, you also get silver boosters. You also get you know the gold, and you also get wait a second ah three days of premium, fantastic stuff. You know it's a great deal for ten bucks. I just don't need another heavy tank. I got a 4211. I'm good. But if I didn't have it, I'd buy that one. That's just me. Gold, I never buy gold. I do contracts. Get to the gold. Collect the, I mean, get to the three days of free premium, then get out. Now, I'm completing the Halloween tank, Roswell. I got the premium, and I'm going to get the tank. That's fine. Bernie already had this tank. He's working on a project now. He got the commander and got out and is restarting the, the contract to see if he can earn the commander again I will let you know as soon as we find out so I don't buy premium days they're free just do a contract get to the three days then switch contracts do that one to the three days then switch it to another contract and just keep cycling this that's how I have over a hundred days of, of free premium time free I didn't pay a penny for it okay there you go and pretty much covers everything. You know, free daily chest, always good. You know, if you do your long hauls, you know, 75 missions where you end up in the top seven, winner or loser uh, side, you'll get a free, you know, chest. 
to open. You know, yes, tanks come out of there. We've gotten tanks. I haven't gotten one in a while, but we still do it because you never know. You can get lucky. And I have gotten lucky and gotten some good tanks, a few of them, out of those long-haul tank chests. I've gotten 400 gold, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I look at those as a free lottery ticket. Hey, sometimes you win the lottery, sometimes you don't. So that's the way it is. If you do your long hauls, you can do two a week. If you do at least one, you never know, man. Wrong Way had the greatest sequence I ever saw. Three consecutive weeks. He got the top, the top premium tank and the second premium tank. Three consecutive weeks. In three weeks, it was like 12, about 12,000 gold on each. He made like, uh, I want to say it was like 10,000 for the number two tank. So he made like 24, 30, 30, like 34,000 gold in three consecutive weeks just doing long hauls. You know, he had done a long haul. He did it, you know, and it was like, ah, he didn't feel he was He was close. And Fish was like, oh, man, you got to finish it. You're close. You gotta. So he was pumping him up. He finished that long haul. Boom, he got the nasty one. So Fish, you know, was, you know, pumping him on cheerleader style. And he ended up being very successful. Three weeks in a row, he got 10 grand plus gold refunds for three consecutive weeks. And it was disgusting. But it was awesome. I wish that I had that myself. So congratulations, wrong way. I had to share your story because it's an awesome story. If you don't do long hauls, you cannot win free tanks from those chests. Now, you're usually going to get a private chest for 150 gold and some boosters or what have you, but you never know. You might get the long haul score like wrong way. All right? So basically, we covered everything that needs to be covered here. Continue working on your Roswell contract if that's what you're doing because it will pay off for you. The Halloween tanks are fantastic. I don't know for sure if we're going to have the operation next month in October for Halloween. If you don't, you're going to be feeling pretty sad that you didn't get the Roswell if you have a chance to get it. I'm close. I'm two-thirds of the way done in stage eight, so I'm 100,000 and change away from getting it. So Brownie got his. I'll get mine. And it'll be just one more extra Halloween tank in my garage of Halloween tanks. And when you get to the Halloween mode, it'll cycle. You can cycle through your tanks and it'll show you all your Halloween tanks. It's fantastic. It's going to be more fantastic for me this year because I picked up several tanks that I didn't have. So that's, you know, going to get me stoked for that. So hopefully you learned something. Maybe this helped you out. Best of luck on all your stuff you're doing. Tell your friends if they need to know about this information. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in another video very soon. And as always, like and subscribe.